For the latest Dark Universe news update, visit hybridnetworkyt.com. Hey, what's going on guys? Rob here from the Hybrid Network, and well, the long-anticipated Mummy has been released, and I went to see it. And guess what? I actually have a lot of good things to say about this film. I, I really enjoyed it. I'm not going to lie to you, I, this film was really good. This isn't a perfect film whatsoever, it also wasn't groundbreaking in story, but if you were looking forward to this being released, then I think you will enjoy it. If you were dead set against it and this universe, then I doubt this film is going to convert you, but as a fan of all things mummy related, all things monster related, this film I just really enjoyed, I, I can't lie to you. So let's just get into this review. The Mummy follows Nick Morton and features The Mummy. The Mummy is there quite a bit, but this mainly is a story about Nick Morton, Tom Cruise's character. And Jekyll and Hyde, portrayed by Russell Crowe, seems to have a lot more to do in this universe than The Mummy actually does. I actually really enjoyed Russell Crowe's portrayal of both Jekyll and Hyde. I think that was amazing. I enjoyed seeing both aspects of the character and would have preferred seeing more of him, but I guess we will be in future films, which I really can't wait for. Tom Cruise's character was really good. He was a dick at some points, and I don't mean to swear, but he was. But he was also a good guy, so you were like, yeah, you've done the right thing there, but about 10 minutes ago, you should have done, like, the right thing. And then we wouldn't be in this mess. They were really good characters. Jake Johnson's character in this film was pretty good. He, you know, he's just kind of there. And the other female lead in this film, and I totally forget her name, because she just is generic love interest one. She has very little to do. And you just kind of like, yeah, she's there, but like you just kind of ignore her. So, Aminette. My issue with Aminette is, I'm going to use the 1999 Mummy as an example. In that, his powers are clearly defined and you know his limits. And you also know when he is at full power. But in this, Aminette's powers and limits seem to fluctuate massively. And it takes you out the film a little bit, but it's not too bad. But yet you do realise in the film, like, that shouldn't have went down that way. She should have just stomped each and every one of them. So, I went in this film knowing The Mummy is a love story at its core. And, well, when we start getting some of Aminette's backstory, I was like, yes, this is cool, this is different. I really like this. But then a random love interest comes in for, say, I think he has maybe five seconds of screen time. And I was like, what is the point? You were told that it's a lover, but you're like, but you've, you've given me nothing. I don't need to be told I want to be shown. In the original Mummy, and I hear going back to this, not the original Mummy, in the 1999 remake, and even in the original, you know they're lovers, they, they are given time, you understand this relationship and how it works, but in this film, you just don't, you're just kind of being told, yeah, they were lovers, that's all you need to know, let's move on. But, you know, you can kind of get past that. I feel if they just made it a random sacrifice, it would have worked a lot better. Now this film gets dark at points and it really steps into that horror genre which I appreciated and in the UK this is rated a 15 which is the same as Deadpool so I wish they did a bigger leap into the horror genre because at 15 in England you can get away with a lot, an awful lot. It takes a lot to get up to an 18 rated here. I think it's literally rape and drug abuse on screen that takes it to get to an 18 in the UK. You could really like get into that horror genre and give us some proper scares, which they do do, but they could really go into it instead of having this action horror hybrid, which wasn't bad, but it wasn't amazing. But overall, I really enjoyed this film and I'm glad it didn't get bogged down in becoming a trailer for all the future films in this franchise. You get a few moments of going, ah, that's a gill man, ah, that's a vampire, but that's it. Then you just strip back into the film and that's what I really enjoyed. So, looking forward to the future of this franchise, and I'm going to give it a C+. All they need to do now is learn from the mistakes they've made in this film, and they could have a really solid universe on their hands. So, have you seen The Mummy? What did you think of that? Leave it down in the comments below, because I'm really interested to hear. I've been Rob from the Hybrid Network. Please like, subscribe, press the alert button so you know when we upload. Goodbye.